And on today's episode, we wouldn't be doing our usual very long videos and all of that. It's actually going to be a short video, but I'll try as much as possible to make it as impactful as, like I always say, it's everything about skincare. And today we wouldn't really be talking so, so, so much about skincare, but we're going to be talking about a particular condition that occurs in women that leads to acne. I mentioned in, in the last hey video. it's me so most times people actually wonder what PCOS actually means and I actually got a message from someone saying you know what you you mentioned PCOS in the last video I think I would really like to know much more about PCOS so PCOS is actually an acronym that stands for polycystic ovary syndrome it's actually a hormonal disorder that leads to enlarged ovaries with small cysts on its edges. So, the truth is, when you're talking about the causes of PCOS, the causes of PCOS aren't very distinct. I would like to use that word. But it can be said that PCOS is as a result of genetics, environmental factors, and also reduction in insulin sensitivity which can also be tracked back as a result of environmental factors because our diet actually does play a role for this to occur most clinicians believe that PCOS occurs as a result of the combination of genetics and environmental factors symptoms of PCOS um, for the symptoms of PCOS we have irregularities in the menstrual cycle for some people it's either they don't get to see their period for as long as five months eight months while for some even when they get to see their period it's like it's not going it's not leaving it stays for as long as or for longer periods like for longer days than it should be that's what I mean by irregularities in menstrual cycle. Excess hair growth. Excess hair growth, it could come as facial hairs. You see some, some people with facial hairs that aren't supposed to be there. Most times it could actually be PCOS. Then weakness or fatigue. You see weight gain. You see things like acne. Yes. Acne that's as a result of the hormonal disorder. Remember in our last video how I talked about the fact that hormonal disorder or hormonal imbalance is actually a major factor when it comes to acne. And for PCOS, the major reason why there is acne is because of the hormone imbalance. Then low libido, yes, there is low libido sex libido when i mean libido i mean sex drive there is low sex drive and also depression mood swings so for the treatment of pcos sincerely speaking there isn't a particular particular oh take this it will clear the pcos and all of that but it's more of management, proper management in the sense, for example, because of the irregularities in or because of the imbalance in hormones and all of that, we try as much as possible to give medications that help to balance hormones. For example, you have contraceptives. The contraceptives help with trying to regularize periods and all of that and then we have things like metformin metformin is actually a prescription based medication that helps to prevent diabetes yes i know you will like wondering what does diabetes have to do with hormone imbalance and 
acne and all of that but this is actually a factor because for PCOS there is actually a reduced sensitivity of insulin yes that's that means for the end for their in, in, in PCOS the endocrine activity is actually not properly or it's not stable that's for PCOS and then remember how I mentioned imbalance in hormones for the acne it's still they still use the same method of treatment as I discussed last week but for the major thing for PCOS it all boils down to diet and working out you remember how I emphasized on the importance of working out and eating good diet in the last video this is when it actually does play a role because for people who have PCOS they are trying as much as possible to take in vitamins and minerals that will actually help to not just balance their hormones but as much as possible reduce things like infertility which will occur as a result of the not so balanced hormones take minerals that will help to prevent excess hair growth especially where the hair isn't needed so what do i need i mean for you see some people with excess facial hair and then some with thinning or thin hair that leads to hair loss these are part of the things we see in pcos some of the minerals we actually always emphasize on in pcos includes things like vitamin d zinc calcium b12 potassium for calcium calcium helps to make sure that the bones are strong it also helps in regulating your period it also helps to reduce things like premenstrual cramps and all of that for zinc zinc helps in making sure that the hair the hair follicles are actually stronger so that it will prevent thinning and also falling off of falling of hair and all of that then for your potassium potassium also helps with preventing helps in balancing hormones so that it will prevent premenstrual cramps things like vitamin d vitamin d helps with fertility b12 helps with regulating mood swings because mood swings is actually a very it's actually a very common symptom symptom in pcs sorry for that and also fatigue too folic acid helps with fertility and don't forget that folic acid also is important because it helps with the nervous system and all of that so for all of this for acne seen in pcos you actually do not i'm not going to say you do not need over-the-counter topical medications yes you do but for pcos it's not actually about the otcs but now it's actually more of what you take in because the reason why you keep having acne is as a result of flare-ups from your diet and also omega-3 omega-3 is actually very important and don't forget you can always get your omega-3 from your vitamin d so seeds or foods like turmeric cinnamon chia seeds rich in omega-3 also help with dealing with inflammation and also help with improving sensitivity of insulin especially cinnamon diet plays a very very important factor for people who like to take caffeine especially if you're suffering from pcs it's always advised you cut it or you stop it especially people who wake up early in the morning and then they try to take caffeine and all of that you're also going to watch your diet because foods that are rich in high amounts of sugar and all of that leads to inflammation and then when there is inflammation it leads to stress and then more acne flare-ups hey it's me for pcos before you are actually being diagnosed with pcos you ha actually have to run some tests hormonal profile tests go for some scans all in all I just want to say 
to people who are suffering from PCOS, it's not the end of the world. You're doing an amazing job. PCOS isn't just coming overnight, no. The same way it didn't come in overnight, you obviously do not need to force results or put yourself under unnecessary pressure because that is, it will even cause more harm instead of good. So it's best you take it one day at a time and you'll be fine. Don't forget, don't skip your workouts. You need workouts. The workouts also help with things like bloating, things like your being overweight or your excess weight gain. I hope I've been able to talk about PCOS in the easiest form. Have a lovely week. Bye. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. But please keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye. I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too. So